Today is toy repair day. So I have the, this crane and one of the feet has broken off. Now I was thinking I could just glue the little peg back in or back onto where it went, which was fine, except that it, this whole thing has to fit in a hole in the leg on the crane. The wheel and the peg have to be put in and then glued into the hole which means I can't really glue this back together again inside the hole because I can't see if it's lined up or not. So what I think I need to do is cut off the broken bit, re-drill that hole, and then make a new peg. And that, then glue it all back together again inside the foot. About eight miles, a little more. 0.2 millimeters. Seems like a weird size. Eight millimeters. About eight millimeters. There. So now we just have to make the peg to fit. Fit in that hole and hold it to the leg of the crane. So I need to make the, this peg and it, it looks I would guess it's, it's ash as a wood, um, which I don't have any of, <laughs> but it looks a lot like maple as far as the color goes. So I think I'll just find a piece of maple to try and make the little peg out of. This should work. So you can see the, the grain's a little different, but the color is really close. So. So the, the little peg is too little for the chuck, so I can put it in a, in a drill chuck. And you can kind of you can round over the end. And the store has a whole bin of these things. <laughs> okay, well, now that we have the crane done, it can help with some of the other toys. So this doll bed has a little broken leg and you can kind of see why it broke because there, there's so little material there to hold hold the leg on. So what I'm, I'm thinking I'll do is I'll, I got some two, two ended screws and I would drill a hole into the end of the leg and then into the end of the other part of the leg and then sort of sp splice it or spline it back together again. And that should work. And then it looks like the same, the same thing happened to this leg at some point and someone tried to fix it with a nail. Um, so if, if this one works, I might try and take this nail out and do, do this leg with a, with a threaded screw, which maybe will hold that in there better. I think these other ones are okay. 
and then parts of the frame are starting to come apart. So I might just take a clamp and just kind of force it back together again. I think, I think that'll work. Let me try and get this smooth. So the nail on this one ended up going all the way through. But I guess that is how you do it. When I when I pulled it out, I pulled it out the top. So I pulled it all the way out this way. Just be able to force it back in again. Yeah. Suppose I could have just hit it with a hammer. And then I hit one of the nails, which I had to drill through, but it wasn't too bad. That's probably stronger than the legs without the, <laughs> without the screw. So on this one here, on this bed, the headboard just broke off. So I'm thinking I'll just glue that, just glue that back on. What I think I can do is just put one clamp. I almost can just use the weight of the clamp. Not even tighten the clamp up. That might need a little brace, but we'll see. <laughs> Good night, carrots. One of the little French cleat hooks that goes in our broom closet broke. So I'm going to glue that back together again. Now that can go back in the closet. So we have this old chair and one of the one of the little top things came off. I was thinking I'd do the screw idea with it with a two-ended screw, but there's enough sort of material here. I think I can just glue it and kind of shove it back in there. And it should work, so that's what I'm going to try doing. Shove a lot of glue on here. Just really force it back down into... So all the wood fibers are reconnecting again. Thanks for watching.